Hello everyone, um, welcome back to one of my <coughs> commentary videos. Um, in this video, what I wanted, so I, I mentioned it yesterday in, um, in the last video I uploaded um, about when I uploaded the uh, the tournament gameplay. Um, I mentioned that I made some changes to the Real Goti um, deck that I'm testing out. So in this video, what I will do is I'll show some of these changes and uh, what the idea behind them is and then um, I will do some uh, gameplay as well um, just to test them in ranked um, so this is the uh, this is this is the modifications that I made uh, this is a test test list so the um, the main the main thing is I added a, um, a, sh a small maybe a medium-sized uh, Thunder Dragon package um, the the reason behind this so i i actually when i first started playing the element goatee deck um it was a um you can actually find um uh maybe i can show you actually uh the f one of the first uh, decks i uploaded um uh for the element goatee was a 60 card uh deck basically here, right. Don't know if it's this one. The forty card deck. What about this one? Five card deck. Yeah, I can't really find it. It was such so long time ago, but I had a um, basically I had a sixty card version of the deck with um, with these thunder dragons in there as well. Um, the idea is because y you can easily access a fusion monster with these thunder dragons um, if you banish uh, with just uh, a thunder dark and an allure, you can uh, banish the uh, the the dark one uh, to get the hawk. And then the hawk will bring back the dark, and then you can easily uh, get a fusion. You can get Colossus on the field, and that's useful when you're uh, for sheep, basically. So if you have an any other two monsters, um, you, you you can uh, you can get sheep, and then uh, uh, special summon Colossus on it, and then uh, uh, the sheep will be able to special summon. Uh, you can special summon your level twos, or or if you haven't gone into the go the punk. Uh, line you can and there's a Ziaman for example in the graveyard you can special summon Ziaman and uh, go do, do the punk line again or you can go with Rhino Heart as well do Rhino Heart uh, line um, so it's basically an easy access to uh, fusion monster and Colossus is it's a um, it's a good card um, on its own you can easily just uh, put it on in the field um, and it can it can shut off a lot of decks. A lot of decks require you require like adding from the deck, um, and so it can basically shut that mechanism completely off. Um, so it's a useful. It's a useful. It's like a floodgate. It's, it's somewhat of a floodgate. Um, and so and it's very hard for the opponent to deal with it because they cannot destroy it. If they try and attack it or destroy it with a card effect, it protects itself uh, because you'll have you will have at least two thunder dragons in the graveyard. Um, uh, either the Thunder Dark and the Hawk at least and so you can easily um, uh, protect it uh, with that and so it's very hard for the opponent to deal with it and it shuts off their um, adding mechanisms um, and so even if you get Max Seed for example you can summon this and just <laughs> pray <laughs> pray that they uh, uh, that the opponent doesn't have like an infinite impermanence or something to get rid of it easily <clears throat> Yeah, so these are yeah. So this is the, basically the main changes. I replaced these with um, I re removed some of the uh, I moved quite a bit of the uh, of the punk engine. Um, I kept it like very minimal. It's a very minimal punk engine, uh, and I added allures. And I think I removed um, I removed uh, one of the meta noise. I removed the meta noise and I removed a call by, and um, a foolish burial as well. <clears throat> In here, in the extra deck, I um, 
um, I, I I placed this with um, uh, with the um, this guy with the redoor with time thief redoor. Yeah, uh, so I just put time thief redoor in here. <clears throat> I remove I removed him basically. I put Colossus in here. Um, yeah, so these are the main changes. Um, how it plays, I found it so from just testing, I found it to be a bit. A bit bricky sometimes um, but when it doesn't break it's quite strong so you can actually have so if you have thunder the the, the roar guy this guy um, and allure you can banish him and he will special summon uh, a, mo uh, a thunder dragon from the deck he special summon this guy and with this guy if you with he's a level 5 and with the Ziamen, if you have Ziamen in the field uh, you can go straight into a uh, chaos ruler so if they if they negate uh, Foxy Tune, for example, Foxy Tune gets ashed, you can just go into uh, a Chaos Ruler with these two. <clears throat> and then when he, when he leaves the field, you get Hawk with him as well. And so that's a fusion monster straight away. So even if Chaos Ruler doesn't uh, mill uh, tier element, uh, you, you have access to a fusion uh, monster. Uh, because he will add Hawk and then Hawk special summons um, from Banish or Graveyard, and then you can straight away uh, lay over into Colossus. Um, yeah, so I'll show you some, I'll play some games um, and see how things go. Um, I'm I'm streaming this at the moment as well, so I will I will play a few games for the recording for the video. I'll post on YouTube and then I will carry on streaming for um, for a bit. I won't be streaming too long today. A nice, nice hand. Yeah, Allure, Allure of Darkness is very good with these Thunder Dragons. Playing Dogmatica. So in here, the first thing I would usually do is activate Allure, banish Thunder to Dark, add uh, the Hawk, and then um, that should give me two draws. Um, and then I would try to play with the uh, Punk Engine. Um, he will... It will force me to send two monsters from the extra deck to the graveyard, and I usually send Garura and Kid Kalos because they they activate their effects. Yeah. And these these are the only two extra deck monsters that activate their effects when they're sent directly from the extra deck. Very strange. Okay. Oh, that's a very nice move. Okay. I might. Oh, he's playing mechanical. That's strange. I uh, might be able to just win just from turn one. <laughs> yeah, he just got, he realized <laughs> that was a crazy move. I uh, wasn't able to show off the Thunder Dragons, but oh well. Um, Master 1 isn't really the best rank to like judge whether a deck is good or not. Um, a lot of the games, like, the opponents will just scoop straight away, like you've seen. Like, they just, okay, I, milled, I had a good mill, so they just scoop. They don't really play out the game, and like if you have, if you're going first and they have no maxi or ash, they just scoop. If you have combo, they just scoop. It's very, it's very annoying. Hmm. Right, he's playing hero. 
So the only thing that can be annoying is the dark. Or, yeah, dark law. I'm gonna put this off. Um, where is he? This guy can be annoying because everything is uh, any any card sent to your opponent's graveyard is banished instead. Hmm. So all the cards that I uh, I mill get banished instead, which is not is not ideal when playing T element, but uh, when playing Thunder Dragons and the Goatees, it's okay, not too bad. Yeah. Hmm. That's not really a problem for us. With this hand, um, I won't be able to go into the uh, punk line because I, um, yeah, I don't have the other level three uh, punk card to let me fusion. Get the get the punk fusion. If I draw another punk card though, I can go into the punk line. Um, allure would be good here if I draw allure as well. Or what's even best, better is uh, if I draw um, super poly. Okay. Right, when a spell card or effect activates, when a spell card or effect you activate, resolves, negate that effect. And if you do, or if it did not have an effect, destroy that card. Okay, so he's floodgating me basically. <laughs> I cannot activate spells. Well, luckily, I don't have spells in my hand. Um, but sh this shouldn't be. I don't know why he. Like if I was playing purely, maybe this. Actually, even if I, was, if I was playing purely, this isn't that bad. So I don't know what the point of this. Right. Um. Okay. Let's see. What do we do here? Oh, I forgot to um activate this in the last turn. Let us see. I'm going to play out the punk engine to force him to activate this. Actually, no, maybe I shouldn't do that. Um, no, I'm going to wait. Because he gave me a card, I can actually play out the punk. Oh, of course, of course he maxes me. Um, knowing heroes, the the most they have in their deck is probably an Ash. I don't think they will have more cards. So, um, send this guy. It's not a, it's not great, no. Okay, uh, this is a tutorial. That's five or six. I don't want a normal summon yet. Um, that wasn't a good mill to be honest with you. I should have added this. See, if, I, if I added this to my hand last turn, I wouldn't have milled it. I would have maybe milled something more useful. But I had I toggled off and I forgot to toggle on again. Um, let's send this. Yeah, let's send this. Okay. Okay. I will do instead 
is just play using my um, yeah I think I can just play using my um, my thunder dragons um, can I OTK? I might be able to OTK here. I'm not quite sure though. Check this guy. So this guy will special summon Roar and then this will add Hawk. Yeah. They add special summon, <laughs> and then we want to flip this so this will bait, uh, this will force him to use the uh, we'll use force him to use that. Now, as long as he doesn't destroy my Ziamen, ah, yeah. it's okay. Um, this means we summon this and yeah I forgot about that actually that's also a play because these guys are level 6 I can go into uh, level 8 straight away yeah let's do that yeah let's go with that this should allow us to OTK hopefully if we mill, if we mill well Nice, okay. Uh, no, we don't want to add anything. Um, let's... Yeah, let's add, let's add the trap. I won't be able to mill more stuff, I think. So let's add the trap. Yeah, that's another thing about the Thunder Dragons, because they have five, one level 5 and one level 6, you can actually make Synchro plays with them. Yeah, that gets Ash, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. So do I have a light monster? I have one in my hand, which I should use it. Just some of this guy. Um, not yet. We don't want to use that yet. And this guy doesn't really matter at this point. So the only thing that we might be afraid of is um Nibiru but as I summon this I shouldn't worry about that anymore okay and I think I have do I have lethal here yeah I do have lethal here I do have lethal and I also have snow just in case so I can pop this, this goes into this, 
And then these three can, yeah. Oh, what, uh, don't know what's in his hand. Yeah. I don't know what, uh, what was triggering the um, activation there. That was a good game. I'll save that. Uh, let me see what was triggering the um yeah i i guess he didn't have anything else other than ash um i don't know what was triggering yeah i don't know i don't really understand heroes much okay yeah, but as you can see, there's a lot of there's a lot more plays that you can make now with the Thunder package. Um, you know, we were able to go into Chaos Roller there, which actually allowed us to OTK. Um, but the only thing is, it can be bricky sometimes because I remove the punk, I remove a lot of the consistency from the punk. If you don't draw well, you can brick. I think generally, even even without the Thunder package, this deck breaks a lot more often. Or even even without it, it breaks basically. I would have preferred to have the Punk Engine running over the um, over the T element, but. Um, we we'll play with what we get. Okay, that is fine. One thing about... Um, yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for this. Let's go for this, actually, it's better. Having two TLMs on the field is better than one. We won't have follow up for next turn. Of course. If you didn't have that, I would have added the trap and just ended my turn. But um, we have our own maxi. Uh, Salaman, great. Um, we'll add this. Yeah. It's okay. I won't be adding anything to my hand anymore, anyways. This actually screws him up. Oh. Oh, it actually messes up my max C. Damn, I forgot about that. Completely forgot about that. To be honest with you, it's okay. Damn it, it's not okay. <laughs> Damn. Draw. I did not expect that. But now he doesn't. He won't be able to add anything to his hand as well. Which is, um, I don't know. I think. I think they do. They have like a field spell and a, and um, some back row as well. But they won't be able to add any of that. Now. I think this. Yeah, it says you add. 
but he wasn't able to add anything. So I don't know what he's gonna do now. Oh. Okay. If I get snow to the graveyard, I I can banish Thunder Dragon, this Thunder Dragon, special summon the Dark One, link him off, and yeah, I can get cheap and the Fusion Monster, which will let me get the uh, level two, which will get me the level two, and then I can. Um, I I can I can go into eight synchro eight, uh, synchro eight or ten I think maybe not synchro eight depends we'll see yeah. Oh, well, he had that in his hand anyways. Wow. So this protects... Yeah, if a Sanomir would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card instead. Okay. Uh, I won't be able to O2K. But I can clear his field, I think. I should have attacked that one. Don't take as much damage. Oh wow, he sacrifices monsters so I don't send that to the graveyard, wow. Okay. Okay, we have Ash, we'll play. But he has one of that in the graveyard. Hmm. I think you ash this, right? I think you ash this. I don't really know how they play, but uh, I know Gazelle is their strongest card. So ashing this is, I think, is a good play. Okay. And it says if this card is sent to the graveyard, if you can target one monster on the field, return it to the hand, okay. Just keep summoning these again and again. Thank you. 
Another one. It's not a once per turn, is it? No, it is a once per turn, so I don't know why they keep doing that. Yeah, I don't really understand Salaman Great. Yeah. We don't die, which is good. We won't be able to send Snow to the graveyard though, because he will do that thing again. But if I, uh, if I just, no, he won't be able to, I won't be able to destroy it, because he will protect it with this. Yeah. We only play one of that. Ooh, it's a good one. That's a good card. We are able to send Snow to the graveyard, unless it gets Ashed. <laughs> Ah, that, that sucks. Oh, damn it. It's my mistake. Gave him that. <clears throat> Oof, what a mill. What a mill. <laughs> now let's hope this isn't infinite impermanence. Um, Okay. Let's keep that. Not this. I have a feeling this is infinite and coming. No, it's not. Okay. Cool. Oh, I already have one. Shit, that was my mistake. Um, it doesn't matter, I suppose. Yes. And uh, one card destroyed, okay. Destroy cards your oh. What? He's gonna destroy them? Okay. But that still activates its effect, though. like, its, <laughs> it's effect still results. So, I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what his plan was. <laughs> okay. So far, so good. How are we doing on the stream? Okay. I will I will play one more and then I will, I will end the recording there. Um, and then I will carry on streaming. And then if there are more games um, that we're interesting i will i will save them and record them separately um what i'm tempted to do is to activate this and then maybe i shouldn't I think he has Max C in his hand.
That is amazing. Right, I think that's Maxina. Yep. But I take the challenge. I don't know what he's playing though. I really don't know what he's playing. Um, I want to go into Colossus. Um, I do sheep. Yeah, I think I'm going to do sheep. So we'll give him quite a bit of um, cards in his hand. But... We have Colossus on the field, and we have Maxi on our hand, which he will, oh, he won't negate, okay, awesome. Okay. Yep. That's one way to deal with Colossus, is to banish him face down. Hmm, but he won't be able to add anything actually. I think he's playing punk. I think he's playing punk. Punk uh, Castillo. Now he's thinking. Yeah, he needs to get rid of Colossus to be able to play. So what he will. Yeah. He will have to sacrifice his turn now, I think. He's still going. He's still going. I don't know what he's gonna do though. Okay. Um okay. Okay. Um I think I get rid of the Fender. Another Maxi, but he just drawled me, so... <laughs> I don't know what this guy's doing, but he just drawled me. Maybe I should have saved the um, the sheep for Havness, for when he activates Havness. Or when he activates something and I mill. Um, if I milled one of the fish, I could have uh, gone into Synchro play. But, yeah. I mean, for sure we're not going to lose this turn. Yeah, we would have, yeah, we would have been able to go into um, level 6 with that, actually. Oh, well. Yeah. 
cap. That's fine. So in here, what does he make? Does he make Psychic and Punisher? Okay. He can go into Psychic and Punisher, which will be able to um, clear the Colossus. Or he can go into um, to the other punk card, the other punk monster. Do this one. So this one, um, he will target. Yeah, Re return them. Yeah, he, he can return um, Colossus to the deck, extra deck. I think he's gonna go for Psyche and Punisher. Yeah, he rolled me, so he hasn't he isn't even able to activate his cards as well. Yeah. So even if he gets rid of the Colossus, it doesn't matter. Ah, oh, man, that's hilarious. Yeah. Some really funny games. Some really funny games here. Um, Let's see. How much? Okay, yeah. Yeah, so I won't, I won't keep this very long. I don't want it to be a long video like the one I posted yesterday. Uh, yeah, so that's... A showcase of how the deck works um, it's not really it doesn't really show you how even though I mean we we won we won all of the matches we played it's not really um, representative I think because this is master one and nobody is people don't really like take it too seriously here um, yeah it's just people just chill here people don't take it seriously so it doesn't really represent i'm looking forward to playing with this deck in the tournament so there's a master cup on friday uh, a tournament similar to the one i um i posted the video it's the same one i posted the video of uh the, with the commentary it runs every friday so there's one on this friday which i'm looking forward to test this deck out in that tournament and then there's uh, another tournament on sunday uh meta weekly tournament and um yeah that one so the master cup tournament i've i've topped like i've had top eight top fours in it uh, before the meta weekly i've never been able to top in it or maybe did i top once no i don't think i've topped in it before yeah the meta weekly i've never topped in it um so maybe this time uh, i'll be able to do it uh, with this deck we'll see how it goes i will i will um if I if there are some interesting games um, in those tournaments, I will post them on the YouTube channel as well, record them and post them. Yeah, so uh, thanks, thanks for uh, watching, and uh, make sure to follow the uh, uh, Twitch channel as well, um, so you can um, uh, you can stay like uh, watch me stream basically. Um, I'll, I'll be playing more games now on the stream. But just for the just for the video, just to showcase the, the the deck, I just wanted to make a short video, even though it's close to fifty minutes now, um, or forty five minutes. Um, but I just want to make a just want to showcase this deck, basically. Yeah. So uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, see ya.